Hey guys, this is Sharun here from 247 Techie and in this video we will be talking about Realme UI based on Android 10 and what all settings you should change on the Realme UI based phones so that you get a lot better user experience, some less ads and a lot more features because there are a lot of hidden features that you need to enable it. Let's get started. Wait, 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 wait. Before getting started, please hit that subscribe button. That helps a lot. It will help us uh, grow this channel. Now let's get started. To start with, I have factory resetted this phone so that this phone resembles what you get out of the box with Realme 6 or 6 Pro or any other Realme UI phone. So the first thing that we will enable is the Wi-Fi assistant and we will also switch on auto switch to cellular network. If you have already set up your phone and uh, haven't enabled it, you can head to Wi-Fi settings and when we are over here, we will just turn on dual channel acceleration also. In the initial setup, you will also see this page which gives you the option to install the latest trending app. I will not at all advise you to install any of these. If you do use some of the apps from this list, you can go to Google Play Store and download it from there and not from the Oppo or Realme store. So what I will do over here is deselect all the apps, deselect I accept the terms and conditions and then press skip. With this method, there will be no other other apps installed on this phone from this list. Now that the setup process is complete, we are inside the phone. We can customize a lot more. So we will go into the home screen setting from here and we can customize everything regarding home screen and lock screen magazine. So I will just ask you guys to just check if your phone is on drawer mode or not. Also another thing that I will ask you to check if the app startup and closing animation speed is at fast. This will help in making your phone feel faster to you. One major thing that I will suggest just tap on notification center. By default it is on global search. Notification center is much more important. Enable double tap to lock and the phone will get locked pretty neat. And now let's scroll to the bottom of this list. We will see lock screen magazine. Just disable it please. These are just random lock screen wallpapers. So I will suggest you to please disable it because this is one of the way Realme can send you promotional content. Now we will go to settings and then notification and status bar. Over here please enable show battery percentage in status bar. So I keep it inside the battery icon, you can play around with it. Also please enable real time network speed so that you know how much download or upload speed you are getting. Moving on to display and brightness, what I would suggest is go down, create refresh rate and please select 90 hertz. By default it is on auto select but I don't think Realme is doing that good of a job in switching between 90 and 60. So we'll keep it on 90 hertz. There is this OSIE vision effect. You can go in and check on apps that support this effect. So these are the apps that support it. So if you use any of these apps, you can enable this mode. This is sort of a video enhancer mode for uh, these apps. Now let's go to smart services. And the third option, smart assistant, please turn it off. This can also be used by Realme to serve uh, ads. So this is the minus one screen on the home screen. So the moment we disable it, we don't have that anymore. Nice. Next we will go to convenience tools. Now this is one major setting that needs to be changed and I really have no idea why Realme has not included it in the initial setup process. That is navigation buttons. So we'll go into navigation buttons and select on swipe gestures from both sides. This is basically the gesture mode that we all like. In the convenience tool, there are more settings like assistive ball, smart sidebar and gestures and motions. So you can play around with them. Moving on, we'll go to privacy. Over here, see the third option, personal information protection. So by default, it is switched off. You have to switch it on. A pop-up comes up to tell you what it will do. And also please note that you have to come back to this page after you install all your necessary apps because when you have a lot of apps in your system this is when this feature is most effective for example what i really like to do is protect my contacts from facebook so i have enabled it next we will go to battery and over here we will switch off smart power saver and swipe down to go to performance mode and put the phone on high performance mode this is when the 90 hz screen performs the best. Now we will go to additional settings. First of all, we'll go to date and time, switch off 24 hour format. Then we will go to screenshot and check if both the gestures are enabled on the screenshot gestures. So three finger swipe down and three finger touch and hold. Then we will head to screen recording, switch on record system sounds, change the video resolution to high, rest you can play around. 
then we will scroll to the bottom of additional settings and we will see the second last option on get recommendations and please switch it off this is one of the reasons for the pop-up ads now we will come back to the main menu so as you can see around the app management there are a lot of uh, interesting things like app cloner game space but we will go into split screen because this is one of the most useful thing that i found on realme ui and please google copy this feature so three fingers swipe up to enter split screen mode this one is very handy coming back to home screen we will swipe and we will see hot games just long press on it app info go to manage notifications and turn off notifications so here are a lot of notifications that the browser has sent me and i have not even enabled browser yet long press on the browser app info manage notifications and please turn off notifications also another thing go to the tools folder go to weather and enable weather till the time we do not enable weather we will not see weather on the home screen and now one last thing we will go into the camera and deny the phone permission i really don't know why the camera needs phone permission so here in the photo mode we will tap on the three grid menu and settings we will turn off shutter sound turn on grid also check if the watermark is off i really don't like watermark on these photos and as you can notice that we cannot change video settings so for changing video settings we will have to go back to main camera app swipe for the video settings and now we can change the video settings just a complicated setup by realme and we will change the video settings to 4k so it will show 4k 30 fps so this was your step by step guide on what to keep and what not to keep on your realme ui phones and if i missed out on something please let me know in the comments below and i will pin them or i will like them or i will upload them so that uh, people are able to see and you get your uh, due credit and also do let me know how you find this kind of videos because i want to do a lot more videos like this want to just set up the phone with you guys and tell you what to keep and what not to keep because there are a lot of things that people do miss out on uh, like xiaomi phones or vivo phones or oppo phones that the settings should be changed and the user experience gets much better samsung phones as well there are a lot of stuff over there also don't forget to share this video with your friends and family or colleague or anyone who has realme phones because they are selling a lot so you might know a lot of people who have realme phones so share this video and tell them what to change because there are a lot of things as you could see so yeah thank you very much guys for watching this one and please hit the like button hit the subscribe button subscribe one is a little bit more important hit that bell icon so that you get notified whenever i post my next video because i'm trying to post as many videos as possible but i'm trying to post quality content over quantity content so let me know if that strategy is working you like that strategy or not thank you for watching the video and i hope to see you in my next one this is Sharon from 24 7 techie signing off see you in the next one yeah